Hey guys, Gavin Smash Six here. Today, I want to do uh, uh, this is a video I haven't really done before. Top ten favorite glitches in Plants vs Zombies God of War Two, and I have a guest with me, uh, Fee Man. I know his name is Good Vibes, but this is his second account, and also you guys can't hear his voice. Me and Fee Man tried really hard. But, like, I just kind of just gave up with it, so sorry, you can't really hear his voice, but I'll probably put text on the screen. Anyways, this is number 10. Okay, so guys, number 10 is the Out of Balance Imp Room glitch. So, my, my, my friend already did it. Uh, okay, so what you want to do is, uh, hold up. Hello. Hello. Okay, anyways. What you want to do is go to these lockers. Also, before, also, you need to beat, uh, all the imps quest before you do, before you can do this glitch. And if you want to get, uh, your heal station, it doesn't, it can be any heal station, but I'm just using the bling armored heal station. You want to place it right here, and then go back and teleport. And then you're kind of out of balance in this really cool room. And you do it like really easily. And yeah, you can just mess around. Yeah, this is probably one of the easiest glitches in the whole game. It's really fun to do and stuff. Also, bonus glitch. If you have the heal ball and you throw it right here, then like stand on it. You can like go really, like really far to do it again. And also, if you go over there, you die, so I don't feel like, don't do that. Oh! Okay, and just like that, you can go really far with this. That one's kind of a bad one, but if you do it, like, uh, long enough, you might, like, go, like, under the Super Brains portal or something. But, uh, yeah, that was number 10 and a bonus glitch. Now we're gonna go to number 9. go okay guys number nine is the left clipping through this side of the dr zombos match and glitch i have no idea what it's called but okay so wanna, what do you want to do for this glitch is be an all-star you want to have the normal tackle and the normal shield on you want to look at this bob breakfast brains bobblehead but if you don't have breakfast brain just look at this square and then you want to and then you want to place down your shield, and then you want to look at the middle, at the super branch's chest, you want to look at the brain, and then tackle, and then you, like, go in this weird room. So, yeah. And now my friend's gonna do the glitch. And there's also another really easy glitch that you can do, most of the time. Oh. Okay, the second I'm saying that, really, my friend just fell, that like, he might just fell in the glitch. Okay, anyways, we're gonna go to number eight, so yeah. I'm a gnome, yes, I am a gnome. On the lawn with my- Okay, guys, so numbers- Wait, was it? Okay, so number eight, uh, is the get on Dave's house glitch. So, what do you- So, you need, um, uh, so you need the Sembero Bean Bomb. If you have the normal Bean Bomb, you, you can't do this, so you need the Sembero Bean Bomb. You want to go to this vending machine here, the sticker shop, and you want to do go here, and then place your uh, Sembero Bean Bomb, and then jump on it. And sometimes you can go launching to the house, but it didn't work that time, so I'm probably going to cut it until I do it. Okay, guys, I did it! And you go flying up, and then you go on Dave's house. This is one of my favorite glitches. This is why it's on here. And you can go up, go up here, and like just like, like do stuff or something. So yeah, you can do that. So this is definitely one of my favorite glitches because it's like so cool. Because, like, the only time you, you're intended to go up here is when you beat, like, all the Dave Bot quests, I think. 
and then after you, uh, it's like, I think, like, right, right before you do Captain Smasher, like, for the first time, you, like, go up here, and then, like, celebrate or whatever. But you can just do this. This is, like, really cool. I really like this glitch. Okay, anyways, we're going to number seven now. Okay, number seven is, uh... Clipping into this, clipping into the bank glitch. I have no idea what this one is called either. Anyways, you want to be a scientist, and they want to go in this corner. You want to place down your heal station here, and they want to go back and then teleport. And sometimes you can go in the building. Okay. Uh. What the heck? <laughs> Oh, you did it! Okay, so you see, guys, my friend, my friend, uh, Feeman did it. Oh, okay, I did it, guys. You have to use the normal heal station. The armor one doesn't work. Anyways, you you go down here, and it's like a big hole of nothing, and yeah, and my. And yeah, it's kind of cool. And also, if you so, and also if you um, if you respawn, I think you go in the sewers. Wait, what the heck? I just died. Okay, yeah, when you do the glitch, um, and you respawn, you will die and go in the sewers. So it's kind of a shortcut to the sewers. But literally, there's no point of that, because you can literally just go in the sewers, but this glitch is still cool. Anyways, we're going to number six. Okay, so number six is the team swap glitch. You need two people for this, so that's why I have my friend here. And your friend needs to be a rose, and, uh, yeah. So, okay, this is really hard to explain. So you want, okay, so you want to pick the character you want to be a zombie as a plant. For an example, I want to be a zombie Torchwood. So that means I'm going to press square and triangle at the exact same time, and this will happen. And then exit out, and then and then go here, and then spam triangle and X, and then well, well, I did it, but I didn't want to be a plant scientist. Anyways, I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay, okay. Sometimes that happens, but you just have to go back to the show. like three times in a row. Go away. Okay. So now, I'm a zombie Torchwood, and I can beat up my friend. Okay, yeah, so that was a team- Get out of here. Okay, so that was a team swap glitch, um... Now we're gonna do a mini 1v1. Okay, let's go, Feeman. Go for the Electro P. Come on! Yeah, the poker feel like that. <laughs> hey, that was dumb. Anyways, we're going to number five now. Wait, what the heck? That was weird. Anyways, number five. Okay, so number five is a glitch that I sort of discovered. Let me explain. Okay, so this is kind of like two glitches in one. I'm just so, since I sort of discovered it, I don't know if I discovered it, but like I didn't really see anyone else do this one. So I'm just gonna call it the clip into the shark's mouth, but I super brain glitch. So. You have to be an all-star, and then you want to go over here, you want to look at the, the... Oh yeah, okay, before, okay, the, the first part is a glitch that you guys already know. Uh, anyways, you want to go, okay, so you, so if you don't know this glitch, is basically just two part glitches in one. Anyways, 
You want to go to over here, and then you want to go. You want to look at the portal in the middle, and then you want to place your shield here, and then want to go back and tackle, and then you go in this weird room, but you can just jump down. And then now my friend's gonna attempt the glitch. I have to cut like half the video out. Okay, finally my friend did the glitch. Anyway, so this is the part I discovered. Anyways, you want to go up here and then like go. Okay, and when the ship disappears, you want to respawn as a super brains. Okay, you have to be a super brains for this. You can be any super brains, even cosmic brains. So, you want to go to this weird orb thing. Okay. Okay. And you want to. Okay, what the heck are you doing? You want to kick? Okay, make sure to not move the joystick at all during, during this. You want to kick and jump as high as you can, and then, and then this happens. I think I did it, I don't know. And then you go in the shark's mouth. So, yeah, I, I've never really seen anybody did this version of the shark's mouth glitch before. But, I guess that's cool. So, yeah, so this is kind of like, in my opinion, this is the easiest way doing it, because with the scientist way method, uh, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, you ha kind of have to like get good RNG to get it or something. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna do, we're gonna, now we're going to number four. <laughs> Number four, number four is the Sunfire glitch. I recommend being a vampire flower and putting it on crazy mode. And you also need another person for this glitch too. So, um, what you want to do is go to the zombie park. You want to go over here. Also, if you don't have vampire flower, you don't need, need th that for this glitch. You want to go over here. And then you want to die by the brown coats. And then you want your friend to revive you, and, um, or something. And then, and then, uh, so, since sometimes you can clip in this tire, and now it's gonna be my friend's turn. Also, I recommend going right here, because it's like a better chance. No, you have to look at the tire. Okay, whatever. No! <gasps> okay. Come on! Come on, dude! Are you kidding me? Wait, try to revive me from here. What is going on? What is this? Okay, that was a stupid. Okay, so now you can clip into the tire. After your friend revives you, and then after you do that, um, I think it's like way easier. Okay, guys, my friend tried this glitch like a billion times. It doesn't work, so I'm gonna do it by myself. Anyways, you can, like explore so much of this glitch. So this is why it's in number. Wait, is it number four? I forgot. I'm stupid. Anyways, uh. This is like really cool. You can like go, you can like explore like the backgrounds and stuff. Like you probably as, like I always wanted to interact with some of this stuff as when I was younger. Like what happens if I just like jump on that? No! <laughs> no are you kidding me? Th th okay, there's more you can explore, but I died for I died because stupid out of balance. Anyways, um, anyways, time for number three. Okay, for number three, it's the space glitch. Oh, uh, this glitch takes forever to do because you have to do like a whole quest. But whatever, I'm gonna do in this video. Anyways, you want to talk to Agent Corn. Uh, you want to click the quest Zero Bark Thirsty. Okay, this is a quest that you go in a little plane and then just shoot stuff. Okay, skip the cutscene. No one cares about that. Literally, okay, okay. 
So you want to go on the plane. You want to go on this plane here. want to enter it. And then I'm just going to, like, eat this up or, like, cut it out until, like, whatever. So, yeah. Okay, so when the corn, uh, when kernel corn here is just about to place the bomb, and when it goes black, you wanna. Okay, hold up. When that happens, hold up. Hold up. When it goes black, you wanna press options and then respawn and then be a zombie like really quickly. And then this happens. And, uh, this happens. And also, you're a zombie in the Corn of Corn base, which is kind of cool. And also, after that, you can invite your friends. Okay, so, uh, when that happens, you kind of did the glitch, and everything looks really cool. I don't know why the Dr. Zombox looks like that. Everything is kind of like a night mode, and it looks, like, really beautiful. Uh, and stuff, so... And also... Also, there's no sound for, like... The whole time you're doing this glitch, there's some sound effects, but like most of them are like kind of like just gone. Uh, yeah. Anyways, um, the, the game looks really, really cool after you do this. Like the game looks really good. I kind of wish it. And also, you can see Earth, even though you're on Earth, which is kind of weird. Well, actually, are we on Earth? Maybe you're on, like, a different planet. I don't know. Anyways, that was number three. We're gonna go to number two. I have no ideas for music, so this is the music for number two, so yeah. <gasps> number two is the gnome glitch. And and yes, the space glitch is still on when we're doing this glitch, because it should be kind of a waste of time. Anyways, um, what the heck? Get out of here. Anyway, so this is like probably the most helpful glitch in this video because if you never got all the gnomes This will give you like half a million coins So what you want to do is be all star of all the normal abilities you want to go over here and um, Also, if you got all the gnomes already then um kind of like this glitch is kind of useless, but whatever you want to look at the brick and then you wanna, and then you wanna place down your shield, and then you wanna go back and then tackle, and then you glitch into this. And you're gonna watch my friend do the glitch now. Anyways, when you're over here, also, by the way, you don't have to do the space glitch when you do this glitch. You can just do it without. You want to place your shield right here. And you want to want to jump on this thing. I have no idea what that is. You want to jump on the shield and then get on top of the sewers by spam jumping. And then you want to go where I'm going right now. Okay, and you want to place your shield right here, here, and then you want to jump on it, and then you want to jump on here. And then you want to, and then you want to go over here. I also, no, I'll try to like look, like, look, don't look this way, only look this way for the glitch, so, so, so you can actually see. So... Okay, when you do that, you want to go over here and tackle, and you want to go down here. You don't have to tackle, but it's way easier if you do so. Okay, and uh, so you want to go, and you and, you, and then you want to spam spam jump. Oh, this place looks really cool with the space glitch on. I even know that. And then, okay, this place might look different if you didn't do the space glitch. But whatever. And then you want to 
yeah, it doesn't even matter. Anyways, we want to go across this bridge thing. I have no idea what this is again. And then you want to spam jump snow. And then you want to go over here. Okay. You want to go to the left here. And then I want to go over here. So now you're in here. Uh, now you want to like jump everywhere. And then eventually it would just like... Okay, when is it gonna do it? Eventually, it would just despawn the floor like this, and you go down here. What the heck? And okay, most of the time, you go down here, and uh, you can just collect all the chests and gnomes and stuff, and then like start the magic. Uh, and yeah, so like if you don't have all, I already opened the room. Yeah. So, if you don't have all the gnomes and you don't feel like getting them, you can just do this glitch. This gives you like half a million coins and the gnome hat, so this is probably the most useful glitch in this video. Anyways, we're gonna go to number one. Number one, I think. Yeah, this is number one. Yay! So this is number one. The last glitch for the video and maybe some honorable mentions. So, okay, this glitch is called the water glitch. So, you want to go in the Citron portal. You want to go, I'll talk to Agent Citron. And you want to, then you want to go in the quest showdown. Okay, so, and, and I'm gonna also, and I'm also gonna, like, cut this out or whatever. So, you can, like, free iron Citron. And let's skip this. And then you wanna, you literally, after that, you just wanna just, you literally just wanna just cancel the quest. And then for some weird reason, if you go to the dock, the water would be, the water would not kill you. For some weird reason, the water would not kill you at all. So if you go in the water, it won't kill you. Yeah, I have no idea how this happens. The water does not does not kill you. And it's kind of cool. And also you can invite your friends to just like mess around with this glitch. You can do a lot of cool things with this glitch. And sadly, you can't go to the boat because there's an invisible wall. Yes, I know you guys really wanted to go to the boat. But I do too, but, but you just can't go on them. What we want in water? What we want in water? I'm a gnome. What we want in water? I'm a gnome. What we want in water? I'm a fawn and my fawn, yeah. What we want in water? I'm a garden gnome. The land of the tree, the land of the I'm a gnome and I'm a gnome. No! Oh my god, heck no. What we want in water? What the fuck are you? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, so that was the video. Um, make sure to like and subscribe, and see you guys in the next video. Bye. Who say this in the video? But thank you, Ballbox999, for inspiring me to do this video. Uh, this video took like a whole day to create, so. Uh, hopefully you liked it, and anyways, uh, make sure to like and subscribe, uh, and see you in the next video, so bye!